My name's Kelsey Lee, and today before we get started with our ab routine, we're gonna make a healthy little snack. One of my favorites, asparagus. Okay, make sure after you wash these guys, snap off the ends or chop them off like so, okay? And then I already have some minced garlic, and th these are actually heavier chunks because I just like to eat them like this when they're baked. So go ahead and just sprinkle those on. And they don't have to stick on there perfectly because you can rearrange them after. You just want the aroma and the flavor, okay? And your hands are gonna smell like garlic so you wash them after. There's a little olive oil. Course, there we go. A lot of this is going to run off, so kind of put mine on heavy. We don't want any burning. And a little bit of salt. Okay, just sprinkle that on. Not a ton. Okay, does that work for you guys? Pretty easy. You have to wash your hands after. Okay, so go ahead and put the oven 400 degrees for seven minutes. 400 degrees. So don't burn yourself. I'm going to stick that in here. All right, so we have about seven minutes before this is done. So let's go get our ab workout. Okay, here we go. All right, we've got about seven minutes before we have to get that asparagus out of the oven, so let's do some abs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with some plank poles. We're gonna actually stretch out on our mat. I'm gonna go this way so you can see what I'm doing. Plank position like so, up on your hands, and all we're doing is pulling one leg in and pushing it back out, okay? So we're gonna do 25 seconds and then switch to 25 on the other leg. Think you got it? Ready, let's hit it. Slow and controlled, but keep your pace up. Pretty instantly, if I'm in this position, my heart rate goes up because you're activating your chest and your triceps and your shoulders. Really push it out, you got it. About nine more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one more. Okay, take a little rest, go ahead and switch. You guys ready? Pull it in, push it out. Just jump on in, you got it. Keep going. Getting close to being halfway there, so keep that energy up. Exhale as you kick that leg out. About eight more seconds. And five, four, three, two, one. Whew. All right, that asparagus is cooking and so are our abs. All right, next up, we're gonna be in this position. No dips today, but we are going to bring our legs up like this. Activating our lower core. Jump on in. Point your toe. I always want to make things plural. Toes, toe. Doing good. You got it. About 10 more seconds. Don't let that butt touch the ground. Okay, last two, you got it. All right, and switch. You can put your butt on the ground for like two seconds. It's your break. Good, jump on in. Activate that lower core. You should feel a little bit through the top of your quad, front of your leg, okay? Keep it up, about 10 more seconds. Point that toe. Your triceps are probably burning like mine are, but just keep it up, almost done. Perfect, okay. Next up, we have elevators, and that's gonna look like this being in plank position, actual plank position. Okay. Actually, to make this easier, let's pull it up. So, leg folded up like this, knee towards your elbow, and all we're doing is bringing it down to the floor and back up, okay? So jump on in. And if you're doing these right, you'll feel the isolation through the lower core and that oblique on the left. Good job, guys. Don't skip on these. Almost there. Shoulders should feel it. Focus is obviously the core, though. Last two. Okay, take a little rest. Shake out those arms if you need to. Asparagus is cooking, and remember, so are your abs, so keep it up. Okay, knee, fold up, and bring it in. You got it. Mind the muscle connection, don't forget. What are we working? Our abs, right? And although you'll feel it in your arms and your shoulders, focus needs to be, a, needs to be your core. Try not to jump on my words. Perfect. Okay, take a little rest and shake it out. Okay, next up, these can be tricky unless you're in concrete, okay? So let's give it a shot. We're gonna be on our knees, and all we're doing is reaching out, 
bring it back, okay? Let's go ahead and do this for time, and let's focus on one side and then we'll switch, because it can get messy otherwise, okay? Here we go. Pull it up. I'm getting myself some mat burn over here. <laughs> Have you guys ever used those ab rollers? You know what I'm talking about with the wheel? Same concept. You guys rock, my shoulders are burning, and I'm ruining the mat. <laughs> Last two. Okay, shake it out really quick, and we're gonna switch. Get those shoulders working. You guys ready? Other arm. Ooh, sticky hand. I'm gonna come back a little bit. You got it. Activate the front of your core the whole time. You don't want to depend on the office arm to push you back up. Not very conventional core workout today, huh? <laughs> Last two. And take a rest. Nice work. All right, next one up. You're gonna look like a dying bug. Okay, get excited. <laughs> all right, so all we're doing, bringing one knee up with that arm, bringing it down and switch, okay? Can you guys see what I'm doing? Looking kind of crazy. Rip, rip, okay? Here we go, jump on in. Mind the muscle connection so we're not just lifting our legs up. Really contract those muscles, so every time you pull, Exhale. You got it. So, marching band, dead bug, you know, it's all the same. Keep it up. You guys are doing good. We're actually doing this whole routine twice through, so don't worry, we're not done yet. In about five more seconds. Three, two, squeeze, one. Nice job. Okay, next up, we have circle ball crunches. These are real crazy and you need a stability ball. So walk it on out, okay? Hands here, we're gonna bring it up and circle around to the right, okay? And then we're gonna circle around to the left after we complete oh, about 15, 20 seconds to the right. Does that make sense? Here we go. Circle around, pull it up, jump on in guys. Remember, take your time. If you haven't done these before, might feel a little awkward. Keep going, we have asparagus cooking, don't we? <laughs> Gotta be intentional with your time. Use it wisely. Couple more seconds and we're gonna switch. You good? Last one. And to the left, swing it over. You guys rock. <laughs> Keep it up, activate that core, exhale and squeeze. Getting close to halfway there. You guys are killing it. About three more seconds. Let's do two more. Last one. Whew. All right, we are done. Good timing, you guys. So just roll that ball out and let's go get our asparagus. You ready? All right, I am so hungry because we just did those amazing abs. Okay, so need to pull this out of the oven. Remember, you guys had this at 400 degrees, so if it was any higher, you're gonna be crunchy, and I kind of like mine a little brown, so let's see how these turn out. All right, here we go. It smells super amazing, and I'm so hungry. All right, and I need some balsamic vinegar, so just gonna add a little bit of this for flavor. Not sure what a what kind of fans you guys are, but I'm actually just gonna drizzle some in the cap, some came out, and put some on like so. Douse it on there. I like a lot. Balsamic vinegar is super yummy. Great to add some flavor, and here we go. So I'm actually gonna have a little bite of one of these. So this is our amazing asparagus that we came up with today, and I'm so glad you guys worked out with me here on Exit, did our abs, made a good snack. Remember 400 degrees, seven minutes, salt. You can add a little lemon juice if you like and then balsamic vinegar is super yummy on this. Okay, go ahead and leave a video comment. Let us know how you got along and um, make sure you're subscribed to our email list. So we've got a lot of good stuff for you guys coming up. And if you have questions about what other foods maybe you should eat before or after workouts, keep those questions coming. We'll see you next time here on Exit. Thanks for watching.